Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss network layer routing or forwarding. Specifically, we are going to discuss how the data travels from source to destination. So this is a source and this is the destination. How data travels from this source to this destination. And during this discussion, our focus will be on IP routing. And with respect to TCP IP networking model, the, the main protocol at the network layer are IPv4 and IPv6. It means this, this is the layer which we are going to discuss and in this layer, these are the two very important or the most important protocol that is IPv4 and IPv6. And the main job and the main job of these IP protocols is end-to-end -end delivery of packets from source to destination. It means from this source to this destination, this is known as end-to-end. -end. So this end-to-end -end delivery of the packets is a responsibility of the protocol. And in this video, we are going to focus on IPv4. So the source and destination. But IP is not responsible for physical transmission of the packet. Physical transmission of packets means the zeros and ones. So this is zeros and ones, uh, carrying of the zeros and ones by using this medium is not responsibility of this IP. The lower layers, I mean the layer, the data link layer and the physical layer has a responsibility to carry, to carry the data by using this medium. So you can see from this router to this router, we have this serial connection. This is a serial connection. And from this router to this router, we have another WAN connection. So to different wide area network connections, but how the data travels onto these, on these uh, different uh, media is the responsibility of data link layer and the physical layer. IP is concerned only with the end-to-end -end delivery. Now, every computer which is part of the network has an operating system. And in that operating system, we have TCP IP software. So when a user, for example, this user, when this user generates a data, that data is handed over to the transport layer and the transport layer hands over that data to the network layer. And the network layer, this creates a frame and the network layer is actually the part of the software. And in that software, that software decides that where to send that IP packet. It means this user has generated some data and that data has to be sent somewhere. So network layer is going to decide that where to send those packets. And host machine has an operating system. And in that operating system, we have the software and that software is going to decide that where to send those IP packets. And in addition, host machines, the operating system available in the host machines know uh, about other hosts on the same local area network. So in this case, for example, if these two users or these two computers are on the same network, it means they both know about each other. And it means if the destination host is on the same network, then packets are delivered using local media. It means packets will be delivered using local media and we don't need any router in that case. So if the users are connected using the same local area network or within the same local area network, then we don't need router and they can exchange their information by using local media. So in this case, if they are using ethernet medium, then they can use the ethernet medium like fiber optics or any medium and they can exchange the information. So if the destination is on the same local area network, then no issue of router or routing because host by themselves know about other hosts which are available on the same network. But if the destination is not on the same local area network, then what happens? Then in that case, if the host needs to communicate with the host that is outside the local area network. 
So for example, if, if there is a local area network here, and if this, if this node generated some data and that data has to be sent to some other network, then what happens? The operating system available in this computer uh, will decide that if the, the packet has to be transmitted to some other network, it means not on the local network, then that packet has always to be sent to a default router, this default router. It means if the packet being generated by any of the user on this network are to be sent to some other network, then this is always has to happen that this packet has to be sent to this router and this router is known as default router or default gateway. So, same network and for this to happen, the IP address on this interface of the router and the IP address of rest of the nodes or the computer on that local area network should be part of the same subnet. This is the condition. And for for data to be sent from this, this computer to this router, the, the appropriate frame format has to be used. Frame format means once this user has generated some data and that data has to be transmitted by using this medium from this medium like this medium, then we have to use the frame format supported by this medium. And if this is Ethernet, then it means we have to use the Ethernet frame structure to send the data from user to the default router. For example, this user has generated a packet and now this packet has to be sent by using this Ethernet medium, then that packet is encapsulated within Ethernet header and Ethernet trailer. And in this Ethernet header, and in this Ethernet header, for example, again, the packet is generated by this user because of Ethernet medium from this user to this router, Ethernet header and trailer are being added. It means that packet has been encapsulated. And in this Ethernet header, actually we have the layer two address of the router interface. It means this is the router interface. And in this Ethernet header, we have the address, which is the MAC address of this frame. And now, this user sends that frame to the router. Now, in this frame, we have the packet which, is, which has to be sent to some other network which is not on the local uh, area network. Now, this router receives that frame and after receiving that frame, this router checks the FCS field that is for frame check sequence and by using that field, router finds out if the frame has some errors. And if, if there are some errors in the frame, then that specific packet will be discarded. And if there are no errors, then that frame will be processed. Now, for instance, that frame doesn't have any errors and the router on the default gateway has received that frame. Now, every router actually maintains a routing table. And in that routing table, we have the database about the possible destination. So you see in this router, this router has received some, some, some packet. In that packet, we have the header. Header has some IP address where we, we, we need to send that packet. For example, in this header part, we have the address, this address. It means that packet has to be sent to this user. So in this routing table, we will have the information about the destination subnet. And actually destination subnet is basically group of IP address. I, to be specific in subnetting, we have the second video, but at the moment, the combination of IP addresses is known as subnet. And it means this IP address is within this subnet and for this router, if this router wants to send that packet to this network, then this router has to use its gigabit ethernet interface. So this, this router received the packet from this user and in this packet, we have the header. Header has the IP address 
of, for instance, this destination. And by looking at this IP address, the router finds the interface, which is basically this interface, to forward the packet to this destination. And this all process is known as routing. And now, this is the router. And router has multiple interfaces. So maybe, maybe this one is the interface, gigabit ethernet interface. So this interface has to be used to forward the packet. Now, what this router does, router has selected that this interface will be used to forward the packet. But what is the medium from this interface to this user? Now, for instance, if this is the fiber supporting ethernet standard is being used, then the packet will be encapsulated. So this, this just shows that this IP address is part of this subnet. Anyway, this packet will be encapsulated using ethernet frame. And this ethernet frame, in this header part of the ethernet, we will have the MAC address of this computer. So it means if this is the destination, then the MAC address of this computer will be in this ethernet header part. And this MAC address is learned, or this router knows the MAC address of this computer by using a protocol that is known as ARP, or Address Resolution Protocol. So by using that protocol, the router has, uh, has got the, uh, the MAC address of this computer. And then by using this frame, the router sends that specific packet to the destination. So this is how the packet is sent from, from this source node to the destination node by using IP addresses. So I hope you got some idea that how the IP addresses are used to forward the, the packet from one node to the destination node. And this was the case when when the destination node is directly connected with the default gateway or the default router. So some of the interface is directly connected with, with the destination network or the destination machine where we want to send the data. And in our next video, we will discuss when this user wants to send some, uh, wants to send to some network with not directly connected with any of the interfaces of the default gateway, but there are some intermediate uh, routers as a hops. So I hope we will discuss that thing in our next video. Till then, thank you. Thank you very much.